Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a look and comparison of the newish Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Polish and Wax, as well as their Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating. So briefly, the Polish and Wax is more or less an all-in-one polish that's used to remove and feel light swirls or paint defects, as well as leave a protective wax or sealant layer behind. While the spray ceramic coating is more or less an SiO2 based spray sealant used to protect automotive paint which can also be used over the polish and wax. So in this video I'll be going through their application and user experiences as well as evaluating them in areas such as their gloss, slickness, water behaviour, chemical resistance or environmental resistance to gain and share as much useful information about them as possible. So starting with the all-in-one polish and wax, I'm going to talk a little about what I've discovered about its application and user experience while testing it out on a variety of paints and defects while I'm applying it on this first test panel initially by hand and then by machine. Firstly, if you are using it by hand, you do need to use a good amount of elbow grease and pressure to really work it in, in order to get the best results. A microfiber hand applicator will also work far better to remove defects compared to a foam applicator. But if you're working on a softer paint, you may also want to follow up and finish each section with a few passes using a foam applicator, as it will tend to finish better on those more sensitive paints. Don't try and apply or work it over a section larger than a half meter square or so, but the smaller the section, the better the results, though it is rather time consuming. However, if you have the stamina and patience, you will see that it can work rather well to remove light swirls and defects with success, and it can definitely finish with good amounts of gloss and clarity. But if you're looking for a product to address more moderate to severe paint defects, this really isn't the best option as it does have its correction limitations. Beyond that, it's also actually nice to work with by hand, and the wipe off is relatively easy without too much drama. Now using the Turtle Wax Solution Polish and Wax by Machine was quite a different experience for me. Although its consistency and behaviour seems good with hand use, it just doesn't seem to translate over to machine use, or at least not for me. The way the polish almost seems to overload the paint at first, even when you just use a couple of small drops, and then almost immediately starts to dry, haze and become sticky, going from one extreme to another in a matter of seconds, is a clear indication that this product hasn't been formulated for machine use, but was just more of an afterthought for machine use. Now I also tried it with wool, microfiber and foam pads on harder to softer paints, and the user experience as a whole was just difficult to put it nicely. Now I had some success with it when working on harder paints with fiber based pads, in which case it was passable at best but on medium to softer paints and with foam pads, it really becomes a struggle to wipe off and even just to find a good sweet spot in relation to technique. Now Turtle Wax recommends using water to wipe it down to activate its shine polymers, which I won't comment on. But I personally found that you need water to wipe off its residue if you use this polish by machine and that may be the real reason why they suggest it. So what I would say is that if you're looking for an all-in-one polish to use by hand that can address some light paint defects, then this is definitely a good viable option. But if you're looking to remove more moderate to severe defects, and if you're intending on using a machine polisher, I would suggest that there are far better options available with a much better user experience and result. Now as a direct comparison, I used Ripper's Uno Protect, which is a favorite all-in-one polish of mine, to see how it would compare in both hand and machine applications, as well as the results which we'll see in a bit. But as far as user experience goes, there's just no denying that Uno has much better lubrication as it spreads into the panel with ease and the wipe off is just like butter by comparison. Now when you compare applying them by hand, the difference isn't as great, as like I mentioned, the Turtle Wax Polish is also nice to use in that way. But when you compare how they react, break down, cycle through in a machine polish application, the difference is night and day. 
and hopefully you guys could see in the footage just how the turtle wax polish goes from being completely wet to completely dry on the panel in an instant halfway through the cycle while the Rupert's polish has a nice, even and consistent cycle from start to finish slowly breaking down throughout the cycle which is exactly how a good machine polish should behave. And it really doesn't matter which pad you use and what paint you're working on as the Rippers Uno is just so forgiving and adaptable to work with in almost any situation. Now I know a lot of people have different experiences with every single product on the market but based on my testing I would say that Turtle Wax should have really stuck to making this a hand applied all in one polish but if they do wish to make it for machine use it's just going to take a little more development to get there. On this next test panel, the paint has been previously compounded but not polished. So I'm going to use the Turtle Wax Polish and Wax to polish the left side and then use both Turtle Wax Hybrid Spray Coating and the Turtle Wax Seal and Shine for a comparison over the all-in-one polish. And then on the right side, I'm just going to use the Hybrid Spray Coating and Seal and Shine on their own for another direct comparison. And while I'm preparing this panel, I'll talk a little about the user experience of the Hybrid Solutions spray coating. Now just like any car spray sealant, it's simply sprayed directly over a half square meter or so area, spread in with a microfiber cloth and then buff streak free. Now if I'm comparing the new Hybrid spray coating to Seal and Shine, I'd say it's actually a little easier to apply than Seal and Shine with less chance of any streaks left in the finish. And I also had a go with it outdoors in direct sunlight. And although I really wouldn't recommend it, as is the case with most spray sealants, I did discover that it is a little more forgiving to apply in those conditions. So it does seem like the new Hybrid Solution spray coating is nice, easy and a little more forgiving to use when compared to Seal and Shine, which is great to see. Now Turtle Wax doesn't seem to specify how long you should wait if at all, to top the hybrid polish and wax with their spray coatings. But based on using past all-in-one polishes, I've personally found that between 2-4 to four hours is usually a good time frame to allow the resins in most all-in-one polishes to harden before adding a top coat. So that's what I stuck to and I had no issues with streaks or difficult applications when sticking within that time frame. So after giving the panels three full days to cure, the first test was assessing their defect removal or filling abilities, as well as the gloss and saturation levels that these products can create on automotive paint. Now starting with the first test panel, hopefully you guys can also see and judge the results for yourselves, but as far as gloss and saturation goes, I think all four sections look rather good with a great improvement across the board, which is fantastic to see. However, when we look at the defect removal or filling ability in relation to existing swirls and scratches, it is a little different. The section with Rupes Uno machine applied is without a doubt the standout here with the greatest improvement, also perhaps having the best gloss and saturation levels overall, especially when you compare it to the machine applied section with the hybrid ceramic polish. But when we compare the two hand applied sections, the difference is far less and with both products having a similar result, though I'd still say that the Rupa Zuno section has removed or filled a few more of the scratches. So what I would say is that as far as gloss and saturation goes, it's actually close, which says a lot of positive things about the Turtle Wax polish, as Rupa's Uno is really great in that area. But as far as defect or filling abilities go, it's just not quite at the same level of Rupa's Uno. Now on the second test panel, it's actually a little close again between all four sections in relation to gloss and clarity. But it's fairly obvious that the left side of the panel that was polished looks much better with more of the haze and swirls removed or filled in. But between the Hybrid Solutions spray coating and Seal and Shine in both sections, I'd actually say that Seal and Shine just looks a touch better. Now it's not a massive difference between them, but regardless of whether they're used over the hybrid polish or on their own, Seal and Shine just does look a touch better by comparison. Next was testing out the slickness or lack of friction that these sealants create on automotive paint. 
Now once again I'll have to say that there honestly wasn't a great deal of difference between all four sections and they all felt and behaved rather nice. But there were some more subtle differences with the second section that had hybrid polish topped with seal and shine being just slightly slicker with less friction than the rest. While the next best section was the first section with hybrid polish and the hybrid spray coating. And between the hybrid spray coating and seal and shine on their own, seal and shine did just edge ahead slightly to take the win. So what I would say is that using the hybrid solutions polish and wax beforehand will help improve the slickness and feel of the spray sealants, but the original seal and shine still seems to be a touch better in that area. So onto some water behavior testing to evaluate the hydrophobic performance of these car sealants. So starting with the first test panel that has the all-in-one polishers on their own, I'll start by saying that I've never used any all-in-one polish in my life that has great water behavior, and these all-in-ones are no different. Now most all-in-one polishers will definitely improve the hydrophobic behavior of the paint, but if you compare them to a quality standalone sealant, they just won't be in the same league. So my advice would be always to top these polishers with a quality sealant or coating if you want to get the most out of them. But in saying that, I will also mention that the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Polish and Wax does seem to sheet and bead the water a touch better than Ripper's Uno Protect as a whole. Now again, it's not a massive difference and I wouldn't say the water behavior is great for either, but it is a slight plus for the Turtle Wax Hybrid Polish and Wax. The next test was chemical resistance to try and estimate their resistance to environmental exposure and contamination. Now as per usual, I'm using CarPro Multi-X at a 1 to 5 dilution ratio and I'm going to start by lightly hitting the panel with the chemical and then progressively getting more and more aggressive with each subsequent application. As you'll hopefully be able to see for yourselves, much like the previous water behavior test, the results were again quite close but the Turtle Wax was just slightly edging ahead here in relation to chemical resistance. Now based on testing Ripper's Uno in the past, it's actually quite decent for an all-in-one polish when it comes to chemical resistance. So I think it's fair to say that Turtle Wax has done a good job here making the hybrid solution polish and wax a potentially durable option for an all-in-one polish, which is great to see. So onto the second test panel where the spray sealants have been applied over the hybrid polish and wax as well as on their own. Now I'm just going to sum up the results here all together as you guys begin to have a look at the footage. 
but you'll be able to see all the footage and also decide for yourselves as I get to my conclusions. But firstly, as far as water behaviour goes, I think it's fairly decent across the board and in line with what I'd expect from a good quality spray sealant. But in saying that, I wouldn't say it's exceptional hydrophobic performance, as compared to a few other spray sealants on the market, it could be a little better. In relation to the spray sealant's performance when topped over the all-in-one polish, there really isn't a great difference. And if anything, they almost seem to perform a little better on their own. Now when comparing the Hybrid Solutions spray coating to Seal and Shine, I have to say that Seal and Shine still sheets the water a little quicker and also seems to create more propped up and nicer water beads. But once again guys, it's not a massive difference, just a slight and more subtle observation that puts Seal and Shine a little ahead in that area. Now as you'll also hopefully be able to see in a bit once we get to the chemical resistance test, this was actually the biggest difference I was able to see between the hybrid spray coating and seal and shine. Now at first when hitting these sealants with the chemical, the difference wasn't all that great and I think they both performed fairly well. But when I got more aggressive with the chemical, it did start to become obvious that seal and shine held up far better and had a lot more chemical resistance by the end. So overall, Seal and Shine still seems to be the more durable of the two spray sealants. So as you guys continue to have a look at the rest of the footage, I'll just sum up this video with my personal thoughts. Firstly, I actually don't mind the new Hybrid Solutions Polish and Wax. It does what it states to remove and mask minor paint defects and helps improve the gloss of the paint. So if I was looking for a hand applied all in one polish, it would definitely be a viable and potentially great option, also considering that its water behaviour and chemical resistance seems rather good. Now I know turtle wax is a lot cheaper in other parts of the world, but for me locally it's actually more expensive than Rubez Uno, which costs about $60 for a whole litre, while the turtle wax is $38 for only 400 mils or so. And when you consider that the Rupers Uno, as well as many other all-in-one polishers, also tend to work far better when machine polishing and potentially have a little better defect or filling abilities. It's hard for me to justify getting the turtle wax, but that may be a different case for you based on where you live and your needs. Now if I was to compare the new hybrid spray coating to the original Seal and Shine, I would say it's very similar in relation to gloss, slickness and even water behaviour with the most obvious differences being that the new Hybrid Solutions spray coating is a little easier to use, while Seal and Shine seems to be more chemical resistant and potentially more durable. So if you'd like Seal and Shine but had some issues of it streaking when you applied it, then the new Hybrid Solutions spray coating could actually be exactly what you're after if you don't mind applying it a little more often. But again, the cost seems to be the greatest obstacle here, or at least for me, as the Hybrid Solution spray coating is about twice the price of Seal and & Shine. And apart from application, Seal & Shine seems to outperform it in every other area. And as I stated in a past review of Seal & Shine, for the price, Seal & Shine is one of the best value spray sealants on the market. Turtle Wax has been around forever and I think it's made leaps and bounds of progress in the last couple of years to show that it's willing to adapt and progress to an ever evolving detailing market. So I have much respect for that and I'm keen to see how the brand progresses in the future. I'll end this video by saying that from a sanity perspective, I wish Turtle Wax and Meguiar's would stop using these whole sentences like hybrid, solutions, ceramic, spray coating, to name a product. Please just give it a one word name and put the rest of it in the description. It's just a little ridiculous and seems like they're trying way too hard and it just comes off sounding like a gimmick. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.